Confused about the cosmos? Can't tell a planet from a star? Then give us just five minutes and we'll show you what they are. Jack Horkheimer, Stargazer, tells you all about the night sky and the biggest show of all, the universe. And now, this week's episode. A bunch of celestial triple headers next week. Hey there, stargazers. I'm James Alberry from the Kika Silva Pla Planetarium at Santa Fe College in Gainesville, Florida, and I'll be your guide to the sky this month on Stargazer. Next week, you have multiple chances to see three celestial objects line up in a row. Let's start with the early morning trio first. Okay, we've got our skies set up for Monday morning, June 27th, about 4.45 a.m. Remember, it's summertime and morning twilight has already started. Look east and you'll spot a skinny 26-day-old waning crescent moon. It's between one and two fists high. Down to its left is a little cluster of stars called the Pleiades. If you look carefully, they might look a little like the Little Dipper. But the Little Dipper, it is not. If you wait too long, the morning twilight will wipe them out, so get out early. Up to the right of the moon, you'll easily spot a bright white spot of light in your morning sky, the planet Jupiter. So that's triple header number one, the Pleiades, the 26-day-old moon, and the king of the planets, Jupiter. For the next triple, you'll have to wait a little bit. As time goes by, the Pleiades and everything else will rise higher. Look below the Pleiades for a reddish-orange spot of light, our old friend planet Mars. Mars is not very bright right now because it's on the other side of the solar system and is more than twice as far away as the Sun. Below Mars, look for Aldebaran in Taurus the Bull. So the Pleiades plus Mars and Aldebaran make the second of our triple lineups. Then if you go out the next morning, Tuesday, June 28th, same time, same direction, the Moon has gotten a day older and is now about three degrees below the Pleiades and almost in line with Mars and Aldebaran. It will be worth getting out of bed for, believe me. Let's take a look at that one more time. Monday, June 27th, the Pleiades, the Crescent Moon, and the King of the Planets, Jupiter. Then lineup number two, the Pleiades, Mars, and Aldebaran. Then Tuesday the 28th, a really skinny waning crescent moon is worming its way into the other lineup of the Pleiades, Mars, and Aldebaran. Now, I know some of you are reluctant to get up this early in the morning, so just for you, I've scheduled a couple of evening triple lineups. Go out after sunset June 28th and look northwest. As it gets darker, you'll first see the closest planet to the sun, Mercury. And as it gets even darker, you'll be able to spot the twins of Gemini, Pollux and Castor. Mercury will be noticeably brighter than Pollux and Castor, but you may have already noticed that these three aren't quite in a straight line. Just be patient, the next night, June 29th, Mercury will have moved a bit closer to a straight line, and the next night, June 30th, things will be even better. This is a great opportunity to see the reason why planets are called planets. They move against the background of the sky while stars do not. The word planet comes from a Greek word that means wanderer. The Greeks noticed that five of the bright stars in their night sky moved and, logically enough, referred to them as the wandering stars, Asteris Planetes. Well, Mercury will give you a good demonstration of this motion over the next few nights, if you care to watch. June 28th, Mercury will be here. June 29th, here. June 30th, here. July 1st, here. July 2nd, here. And then July 3rd, look who joins the party. A three-day-old waxing crescent moon is off to the left of Mercury. And guess what? It's making up the th next triple lineup for us with Mercury and Pollux. So next week has an abundance of triple lineups for us to enjoy. In the morning, in the east, on the 27th, the Pleiades, the Moon, and Jupiter, plus the Pleiades, Mars, and Aldebaran. Then on the 28th, the Pleiades, the Moon, Mars, and Aldebaran. Then on the evening from June 28th through July 3rd, watch Mercury dance past Pollux and Castor and form one last triple with the Moon and Pollux on July 3rd. Keep looking up. Make the Stars Your Own is available on DVD or VHS for $19.95. In addition, Stargazing with Jack Horkheimer, Cosmic Comics for the Skywatcher is also available for $19.95.